And one guy, he uh, he worked for 72 hours straight except for taking a shower. He slept in it, uh, did everything in his vest. Uh, after all that time, he said he, he, he just, forgot it was on. He just, just because? that's just just because he did a he did a, a YouTube review and that's that was his thing. Are you challenging me right now? I, I do. I, you know what? As a matter of fact, I do challenge you. Like, let's see if you can beat him. <laughs> I, I think I might be able to. What do is that, that the 72-hour challenge? I can do that. I'm actually doing it. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. This is my Safe Life Level 3 Multi-Threat Vest. I picked one of these up when I was out in Vegas for SHOT Show this past year and you already know where this video is going. This vest specifically has been voted number one most comfortable on the market right now due to their self-structured panels. While some other companies are trying to make their panels a little bit more flexible to feel sort of like clothing, Safe Life went the opposite direction and made them more rigid for a few different reasons. For starters, the rigidness of this vest is going to allow for better airflow through these mesh panels on the inside. That is hugely important for anyone who has to wear these for their job, especially in the summer heat like we're in right now. The rigidness will also eliminate curling at the bottom of the vest, giving this thing a little bit longer of a lifespan. And these panels wrap all the way around both sides, giving you 15% more coverage and full side protection. Another plus is that the rigidness of this vest will also give you a little bit of strike protection. I know that I would much rather be punched in the chest with a harder panel like this, rather than something soft and flexible. So this thing will keep you protected against strikes, slashes, stabs, handgun rounds, shotgun rounds from a small 9mm all the way up to a 44 mag. And this thing will even stop double odd buck and 12 gauge shotgun slugs. All parts of these vests are interchangeable piece by piece, so if I wanted to run a little bit more protection, I could swap out these level 3A panels for level 3A+, like I have in my TAC vest right here. I'm also running their level 4 rifle plates in here, so this thing is protected all the way up to a 30 odd 6 round. If I felt that I wanted more protection out of this concealable vest, I would simply pull the level 4 plates out of my TAC vest and then slip them right in the front. If you weren't looking for it, you probably would not have noticed this pouch in the front here because everything seems almost seamless and is held together with nice Velcro. So let me throw this thing on and then I will explain what I'm going to be doing for the next three days. All right, I'm definitely no pro on fitment. However, I have put a few of these on multiple times and I actually got fitted by the guys at Safe Life, so I kind of know how these things should feel when they're on you. For reference, I'm about 5'10", 175 to 180 pounds. This concealable vest is a small, however, my tack vest is an extra small. They do have sizing charts on their site, however, you don't have to sweat it too much if you get the wrong size because if you return the vest after 30 days, they will offer you a full refund or you can switch it out for a size that actually fits you. So you obviously want this thing to be pretty snug to your body. I don't want to be able to stick my whole hand all the way up inside here. I want those panels sitting as close to me as possible. Up at the neckline here, you don't want this thing to be sitting way up like a t-shirt. You obviously want to have this a little bit lower, right about where your sternum is. That way when I'm standing, I'm not really bunched up in the neckline area and just standing like this, it's actually pretty comfortable. So now we're getting into the actual challenge portion of this. It is Wednesday morning and the next three days are going to be pretty long if I had to guess. Nick from Safe Life obviously challenged me to wear this thing for 72 hours straight and I'm doing exactly that. Luckily I don't have any trips or anything really planned other than filming from now until the weekend. So this thing is going to be on me for the next 72 hours. The only time I'm ever going to take this off is when I get in the shower, but other than that, sleeping, I'm wearing the vest. Going out to grab food, I'm wearing the vest. Sitting here editing, I'm wearing the vest. When I put the vest on right now, it feels comfortable. I mean, the mesh is nice and soft on the inside. It does allow a little bit of airflow because of how rigid this thing is. But it is the middle of July and it is 84 degrees outside right now. I know I have some things coming up over the next two days. I have to run up to my FFL. I have to film a Sunday gun day. So the next Sunday gun day, you're probably gonna be seeing me wearing this vest. It should make for a pretty interesting time. I'm just hoping that when I lay down to sleep, I can actually fall asleep with this thing on. So I'll check back with you guys whenever I'm doing something or have some thoughts to share. Let's do it. 
I'm out running my first errand while wearing the Safe Life vest. It's about 91 degrees out right now. Definitely too hot, but since it is a concealable vest, I decided to throw like the lightest jacket looking thing I have over top of it. And if you don't know me, you probably really can't tell a difference. My first stop is going to be Schuylkill Gunworks. I have a couple things to take care of up there, and I also need to pick up ammo for tomorrow's Sunday Gun Day that I'm filming. Those guys see me very frequently, so chances are they're gonna be like, Yo, Tisa, you, uh, you eating a little bit or what? Looking kinda hefty, a little chunky. You guys watch my videos all the time so you can tell. I'm looking, looking plump. I'm eating good, you know? But to someone who doesn't really know me, I might look a little bit out of proportion. My arms are skinny and my torso is really big, but I don't know. Sitting in my car like this right now, it's not uncomfortable, but when I first got in, you definitely needed to kind of get yourself situated. So when I sat down, it kind of bunched up. I just kind of worked it back down to get to a position that I'm comfortable in, and now it's not too bad. It's only been a couple hours now, and I'm still aware that I'm wearing this vest, but I'm hoping that over time, I kind of just forget that I'm wearing it, and it just feels natural. When I go into the gun store, I'm not gonna tell them that I'm wearing this. I'm just gonna kinda see if they notice or say anything. But before I leave, I'll obviously let them know that I'm filming a video and this is what I'm doing. I also need to stop and pick up lunch somewhere, so I will obviously bring my camera with and see if anything is out of the ordinary, so to speak. Three hours later. All right guys, back from my first trip out, I did bring my camera with me. However, it really wasn't as eventful as I thought it was going to be. I ended up going to Schuylkill Gunworks first for about two hours. I was there just hanging out, talking guns. I had to pick up some ammo for tomorrow's video that I'm filming. And I was there for a good 45 minutes to an hour until I just kind of broke down and was like, do you guys notice anything different about me? Those guys see me a lot too, and they were kind of looking at me. They're like, no, like, what are you talking about? I opened up my little jacket thing that I had on, and they were like, whoa. Was like, why are you wearing that? And then I had to explain the whole story about why I'm doing this and everything, so... It's doing its job as a concealed vest for sure. After that, I went to the bank. I also went and grabbed some lunch, ordered food. Really doesn't look any different than anything else. Like I said, I might look like I put on a couple extra pounds, but you know, that happens from time to time. It is hot outside. It's about 90, 95-ish degrees out, so definitely super warm. I was getting a little bit warm, but it wasn't like too uncomfortable. I'm not sweating super bad or anything like that. The mesh inside of here does allow a little bit of airflow. However, the real test will come tomorrow when I'm out on my range because I have a good feeling that it's going to be very sunny and very hot. Now wearing this thing out and about all day, going places like the bank specifically, I'm sure that raises some questions with some of you out there about the legality of wearing this thing all the time. Now there are some exceptions to this rule, however for the most part, as long as you're not a convicted felon or you're not wearing this while you're committing a crime, it is perfectly legal to wear. Now there are different laws for each individual state, like Connecticut specifically, I know their laws kind of suck. I believe the only way you can buy armor there as I'm filming this video is if it is a face-to-face -face transaction. But for the most part, as long as you're not a convicted felon and you're not doing anything illegal, it is perfectly okay to buy this and wear it wherever you please. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check out the legality of things like this in your own state. Now for the rest of the day, I have a little bit of work to do. I have some editing and emails, some boring, busy work. And then I also have to get things set up to go out and film at the range tomorrow. So I'm going to get to work and then I guess I will check back with you guys before I'm ready to go to sleep. All right, guys, I'm back after a long day and night of working. It was just one of those days where like nothing went right at all but that's besides the point. I still have yet to take this vest off since I slipped it over my head this morning. I did loosen it up a little bit to get a little bit more airflow when I was just kind of sitting there at my desk. I wouldn't say that I'm sweating, but it is a little moist underneath here, getting a little warm from time to time, but the thing I'm really worried about now is sleeping. The AC is on and pumping, however, it is not as cold as I would like it to be in here, and I'm gonna turn my fan on, have that blowing all night. I'm hoping I can stay cool throughout the night. This is really going to be the main test. If I can't sleep with this thing on, I'm gonna be a little bit bummed, but I have to do it. I'm sticking to it three days straight. I have an early day tomorrow, headed out to the range. Everything is set up and ready to go, so I'm gonna to get to sleep now so I can wake up and get out there early, and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, day two of wearing this vest. 
Sleep last night wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I did wake up a couple times, maybe at like 4.30 in the morning, and I obviously still realize that I'm wearing it, especially when you roll over onto your sides and stuff like that. But I think the longer I wear this, the more it's gonna kind of break in and just fit to me a little bit more naturally. I am pretty excited for this moment though, taking it off to go shower. I'll have it off for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes while I shower until I get dressed again, but this is probably gonna be a good feeling. Oh man, this is what it feels like to touch my chest again, huh? All right, I'm gonna jump in the shower, get dressed again, throw the vest back on, and then I gotta run some errands, post office, breakfast, stuff like that, and then get up to my range. All right, I'm out here at the range, vest is back on, and to be honest, it's really not bothering me as much as it was yesterday. I obviously feel that I'm still wearing it, but it's not super hot yet, especially when I'm in the shade, so I'm hoping I can film this Sunday gun day pretty quickly and get out of here before it gets scorching hot up here. The gun in question today is the Atom Smasher. A ton of people have been waiting for the video for this and I still have yet to shoot it. Not a single round has been fired through this yet. So I'm pretty stoked to shoot this thing. Hopefully it does not malfunction at all. It is a brand new build, so you never know what could go wrong with it. And you guys will be able to see this video tomorrow if you're watching this video as soon as it goes live. It's about 10 a.m. now. I'm hoping to be done and out of here by like 12.30, one o'clock, but we'll see how it goes. Two hours later. Well, that's a wrap on Sunday Gun Day. I shot a lot more than I typically do. I probably put like 300, close to 350 rounds through the Atom Smasher. That thing definitely lived up to its name because the concussion of it smashed the lens filter that I just put on this brand new lens that I bought in Vegas the other week. Kind of a bummer, but it is my own fault. This thing zooms far too, so I probably should have stayed back a little further and just zoomed in. It's all right though, everything is replaceable and luckily the lens is still intact, so we're good. It is about 12.30, so I'm right on schedule and it is hot as hell out here right now. The vest is, uh, it's really not bothering me too much. I even picked up a bunch of brass while wearing this, so obviously bending down and moving around like that, it gets super hot, but it's really not bothering me too much. I think the rest of this video is kind of gonna be smooth sailing, except for sleeping. That part does suck a little bit. So yeah, I'll check back in whenever I feel like it's right to. All right guys, I'm back. Had a super productive day today. I got a lot of stuff filmed. The subscriber counter is going up, so thanks to anyone who just subscribed. After the range, I went and met up with some other friends at a different range, did some more shooting. I'm not sure when you guys will see that footage, but it'll come out eventually. I went and grabbed dinner with JF. I wore the vest the whole time. Obviously, that's what this video is about. And I put that jacket looking thing over it again. I got in his car and he just asked me why I was wearing the jacket. He didn't notice that I looked like fatter or heftier or anything like that. So definitely concealable. And at this point, I'm just kind of in it for the long haul. Yes, it definitely did get very hot today wearing this. And once I got in the shower, after I got back from the range, I let it sit here and turn this fan on and kind of let it dry out. It really wasn't super wet though because of this like mesh type of material on the inside. It stays pretty dry. My undershirt did get a little bit soaked after a while, but you know, that's just how it goes. I also recorded the podcast tonight with JF, so that is going live right now for Patreon people and then Friday at 9 a.m. when they always go up. I edited the Sunday Gun Day video I filmed today. It turned out pretty damn cool. You guys will see that tomorrow if you're watching this on the day it goes live. Everything is just kind of out of order when I'm doing this whole film a video while filming other videos and they're releasing at different times. It's just kind of crazy. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go to sleep for my second night of sleep while wearing this vest. And from here on out, this is probably gonna be the worst part. The vest is definitely conforming to my body a little bit better because before when it was brand new, I really didn't wear it a whole lot. I would put it on for like 20 minutes at a time and just kind of walk around my house with it. But it's way easier to take off and put on and have everything line up and be fitting the way it's supposed to. Obviously you don't want a crease over here on the side. You want everything to line up, not overlap, but just come and butt up against each other. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go to sleep for another night wearing this vest and I will check back for day three tomorrow.
Good morning, day three and the last day, just one more sleep until I can take this thing off. This video I know is getting pretty long already, so if you made it this far, maybe leave a like on it, that could help me out. Uh, sleep last night was okay, I just kind of loosened this up a little bit and I probably slept better last night than I did the first time. Luckily today I don't really have to go outside and film anything, so it's gonna be a edit work from my desk type of day. There are a few errands I have to run. I have to go back to Skuku Gunworks, my FFL, to do some things. I do need to grab lunch, and it is Friday, so I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight. I mean, I don't really have plans on going out tonight, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I wanna go to a bar wearing a bulletproof vest. Instead of dragging this video out any longer than it needs to be, I'm just gonna kinda flash through the day, and then I'll check back with you guys before I go to sleep for my last time while wearing this. First thing, a shower. Oh, it feels good to take this off. Lunch with friends, no one noticed. Now I'm going to Skookle Gunworks. All right, Skookle Gunworks was good. I got some uh, new stuff and things for you guys to see in a future video, but now I gotta watch my cross track because it is filthy. All right, it is about seven o'clock at night now, and I just filmed a mail time video, which you guys will see probably on like Monday. Rhodes is here, he helped me do that. JF was also here, and I said earlier that I wasn't gonna go out tonight, not gonna go to a bar, but we are gonna go up to my cabin, have a fire, have some drinks, just kinda chill out. So, I'm gonna drink in a bulletproof vest. Safest way there is to drink. <laughs> no guns, because we'll get stupid ideas. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll check back with you guys once or twice while we're up there, and then sleeping in it while drunk shouldn't be as bad as sleeping in it while sober, and then tomorrow morning, I can take it off. Okay, it's four in the morning. It's like 3.50. 3.50 in the morning and- 3.49. I'm here with JF and Rhodes, and we hiked all the way to the top of my mountain land, which you guys have never seen before, but- Because we're idiots. The vest is still on. It's dumb. We're out of breath, it sucks. But check out the view, though. Olight X9R Marauder. Bang, bang. Whole lot of nothing up here. It is breathing it in. We hiked up from way down there. Sucks, huh? This is the shit that we hiked up. It looks flat, but this is technically flat. This is so steep. This is what we came up. Yeah. Looks like Jurassic Park out here. Look how steep this is. This is dumb. Why'd we do this? Rock. Rock. Super loose rock. Good morning, everyone. I have officially made it 72 hours wearing this vest. Last night was good, except for that fucking hike. Not my idea. Jeff's idea. Jeff's idea. That was a good hike, boys. So yeah, I mean, the vest like had its ups and downs. When it got hot, I wanted to take it off, but I slept in it again. I totally could have lied this whole video and have not been wearing it when I wasn't filming, but these guys can vouch for me. One of the pluses, if you would have gotten shot, would have really helped out. If there was some strange murder in the woods last night. Or if a black bear would have attacked you. I would have had a better chance of living than you guys did. Or a black bear. This is stab slash proof. Could have protected me from the claws. You lived a revenant life. So I was going to end this video by shooting this thing, just taking it off and testing it out, but I figured this thing, it starts around like $400 and I don't really want to ruin a perfectly good vest, especially now that it fits me better. So if you guys want to check out those videos, I'll leave a link in the description down below from Safe Life themselves testing them out. Their videography is very good, thanks to Tactical Manny and Nick and all those guys. Some good stuff and yeah, that's uh... That's three plus days wearing this vest. If you made it this far in the video, I'd be really surprised because this video is long as shit already. But leave a comment and then write hashtag dopest vest in the game and I'll try to reply to some of you guys. If you guys have any questions on these, you can leave them in the comments down below, but your best bet is probably just going to the site and checking out everything that Safe Life offers. If you guys want to pick up one of these for yourself, you can use code TALENTSI at checkout and get 10% off your order. 
on anything that they sell. So if you like the concealed vest, you can pick up one of these or attack vest, rifle plates. They make a lot of cool stuff. So go down there, check them out. Follow them on Instagram and let them know that you saw this video. If you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and that's all for today in the past three days. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.